Hello, so I'm going to review the cycle questions that you did for me a few days ago. Uh, I want you to follow along, hopefully you will get some help with the things that you got wrong. So start off, you have a diagram. Now the thing with carbon cycle diagrams is they never look quite identical to each other. So you've got to find a point where you're quite confident that you know and I would go with carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and go from there. So first question, letter A represents respiration, which two other letters represent respiration? So respiration is living things breaking down glucose for energy and carbon dioxide is given off. So you're looking for carbon dioxide returning to the atmosphere. And the two that have carbon dioxide returning to the atmosphere are B and D. Nope, I've written that in the wrong place. B and D. I should have done this in pencil. Anyway, uh, B. Other than carbon dioxide, name two carbon compounds found in plants. Now this is quite a tricky question because uh, we've never really explicitly gone through it, but most molecules that you'd find in a living organism, the things that build them up are made from carbon. So you've got carbohydrates or if you'd named one, quite a few of you named glucose because you know glucose is made from photosynthesis, that was good. But lots of other things like proteins have carbon in them, uh, amino acids which make up proteins, you've got fats, lipids, well fats are lipids, Put a slash in there. Uh, hormones, DNA, um, vitamins have some carbon in them. So basically any molecule that you build a living thing out of. Quite a few have put meth in there and good shout because from chemistry that's a carbon compound but uh, although some animals do release methane uh, this question was asking about plants. So a good try, but I couldn't give you that. Gardeners use compost heaps to decay dead plants. Decayed compost is then spread onto the soil in a garden. Explain why gardeners spread decayed compost onto a soil. Now you had to sort of give me an idea why that's useful. And that's because they'll return minerals or um, nutrients. Now minerals is the preferred word because sometimes they don't allow nutrients. Mm. But in this case, minerals uh, or nutrients either was acceptable. And then the second mark was weirdly specific and that it was for good health or better growth. Some of you said good growth, but because the mark scheme was specific that it had to be better and that good growth on its own wasn't sufficient, I had to be uh, a bit mean there. But yeah, good health or better growth. So the idea of that it's minerals and nutrients or ions in the soil from the decaying plants, and that's for better growth. Okay, now you have a much, much simpler diagram of the carbon cycle where we've just got sort of fossil fuels and then respiration and photosynthesis. Uh, plants remove carbon dioxide from the air by a process called photosynthesis. All organisms produce carbon dioxide during a process called respiration. Too much carbon dioxide in the atmosphere can harm the environment. Suggest two different ways of reducing the amount of carbon in the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Now, some of you used, said something like uh, use alternative sources of energy or use. Uh, different, you needed to be specific that it was fossil fuels because not all energy sources release carbon dioxide. So less fossil fuels or same mark, uh, use cleaner energy, e.g. solar. Uh, plant more trees or cut down less trees. Uh, you could have also had 
uh, use cars less. Um, you could have also had um, rear less cattle or animals because animal production uh, for meat or other foods like eggs or milk production uh, creates a lot of uh, carbon dioxide. Okay, then we have the one and only question I've ever seen on the water cycle, hence why it's in here. Uh, water evaporates from the surface of the sea, heat from the sun, speeds up this process and so does the wind. Wind makes uh, water evaporate quicker because it blows all the water vapour away. Water vapour in the atmosphere cools down and condenses to form billions of tiny water droplets. Some of the droplets join together and fall as rain. Now apologies to some of you, I for some reason missed off this quick question in one of the documents. So if you had a, if you worked from the Word document, this bit was missing. It's just an alternative uh, carbon cycle diagram, just to show you that there are some differences. And you're asked, what is the name of substance X? The so substance X is in the atmosphere, and that is carbon dioxide. Which process? Oh, there we go. Which process A, B, C, D, or E takes the longest, and approximately how long does it take? So if we go, oh, we go back here. Uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five different processes. We've got photosynthesis, respiration, burning, decay, burning, formation of other carbon compounds in plants, and formation of oil. The thing that takes the longest here is making oil. Oil, or fossilization, as you will know it from the diagram that I asked you to take down last week, takes millions of years. So your answer to that was D for one mark and then millions of years. If you gave me a number, as long as it was followed by millions, that was fine. And the last question, a six marker about uh, a woodland community and how carbon is cycled through it. Now, some of you did really well on this. Uh, some of you need to use keywords a bit more often. So what I mean by that is, if we start with carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, carbon dioxide uh, enters plants by photosynthesis. Quite a few of you were telling me where the carbon was going, but not naming the process. Some of you were naming the process, but not saying that carbon dioxide enters plants by that way. Some of you were just saying carbon, you need to be a bit more specific. So carbon dioxide enters plants by photosynthesis. Uh, it then is uh, glucose, that's what the form of it is, and that enters animals when they eat plants. Animals. And here's one that quite a few of you, which is easily done, it gets confusing, but also plants respire and release CO2 back to atmosphere. And then also, when they die, microorganisms, again, some of you were saying that the dead material respires. Well, they're dead, they can't respire anymore. It's the microorganisms. But that's one of the trickiest bits of the carbon cycle, remembering it, that it's the microorganisms that respire um, as well. Respire. CO2 when decomposing dead or waste material because it's not just if they die it's if they you know go to the bathroom they poo um, yeah, 
respire CO2. Some of you did mention combustion, which is very unlikely to happen in a woodland community. Uh, combustion sort of burning of fossil fuels. Uh, these animals will not be burning any fossil fuels anytime soon. Okay, if you have any further questions on those questions, send me a comment. Um, yeah.